and welcome to my channel. Today's video is stereotypes of being an only child. If you didn't already know, I'm an only child and people are just really disrespectful and rude to me because I'm an only child because they assume things about me even if they don't know anything about me and it's their first time ever meeting me. So today is basically just a video of me complaining but I thought you guys would like to see it because it's kind of like a rant video and I love those. And yeah, let's get straight into it. The first stereotype is that we are stuck up or arrogant. Everybody just automatically assumes that only childs are stuck up or arrogant. They think that we think we're all that and we're so cool. When in reality, unless I am like really close with you, when I'm around new people, I just tend to be really quiet and stick to myself until I get like comfortable around people. So I would not say I'm stuck up. I would just say that I don't know, I just feel like people always think he's, like only child are stuck up or arrogant and they just are all like, oh my god, I'm so much better than you. But that's not the case. Not everybody is like that just because they're an only child. The next thing is being spoiled. Everybody thinks that when you're an only child, you're spoiled so much, which I will say, because you have no other, no other siblings that you have to share your stuff with, you might get a couple extra perks, but that doesn't mean that it's all that. When you have siblings, whether you hate them and you argue with them all the time, that doesn't mean anything because at least at the end of the day, whenever I go to my friend's house, they're always like, at school they're always like oh my god i hate my siblings so much they're so annoying and then when i go to their house them and their siblings are sitting there like getting along better than me and my best friend and i'm like mm. and this has happened so many times and i'm just like i thought you guys hated each other but then at the end of the day they get along so well and you and your siblings get to play with each other and like have somebody to talk to and just can always be there with, for each other but as an only child you just can't don't have anybody to play with you have nothing to do, you're always bored. So that's just another thing that like, you may be spoiled, but not as much as you would think. Not everything is perfect. The next thing is being the center of attention. Just because I'm an only child doesn't mean I think I'm the center of attention or am always the center of attention. Yes, at my house, I may get a little bit more attention than somebody with seven other siblings, but that's just obvious because there's more to fo there's like less people to focus on. But it doesn't mean I think I'm the center of attention in all situations. In my second block class last semester, my teacher, we were doing one of those stupid like get to know you sheets where you have to like go around and find somebody who's an only child, somebody who has four brothers, those types of sheets which are really annoying. And my teacher was like, oh, who's an only child? And I raised my hand and I was the only person and she was like, oh, you don't really seem like one because I was sitting there quietly doing my work, being like an actual student instead of, because she thought I was going to be the center of attention. I don't even know what she thought, but I was just like, yeah, thanks, because she, she, it was just so rude how she expected me to be something different from her stupid stereotype, and I was like, that's actually so disrespectful. You can't just think that about somebody, even if you don't know anything about them, and I would never do anything to her. So that really irritated me. The next stereotype is getting lots of attention. When you're an only child, everybody's like, oh my god, it must be so nice to get all the attention from your parents, and like, you get so much stuff, and blah, 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 blah. But you get attention even when you don't want it. This is one thing that bothers me so much that people just don't understand the pressure that's put on you for being an only child. You like a lot of the people that I talk to that are like, oh, I don't. My parents don't care if I get all A's because my siblings failed this class. So if I'm taking the same class as them, they don't care. And I'm like, <laughs> man, I wish because I'm expected. I feel like. When you're an only child, especially, I don't know if everybody feels this way, but me personally, I feel like I always have to be perfect. And like, my parents expect me to get all A's. I always study super hard. And you get the attention even when you don't want it. When you have siblings, like yes, you're like, okay, my parents sometimes ignore me, but you get the privilege of when you want to be left alone, there's other people to focus on, not just you, so you can be left alone. But when I'm an only child, my parents are so annoying sometimes. I'm like, leave me alone, go somewhere else. There's other stories in this house, not my room. Like, I just want my alone time, and I don't want the attention. I'm like, please, like, it's just so annoying. And they just have this huge burden all the time for one reason or another. It's not the same for every only child, but it's just really, really annoying. So, yeah, those are the main stereotypes that really bother me that people think of only childs. Hopefully, at least somebody who's watching this is an only child and can relate to me and isn't just sitting there rolling their eyes like, what is that girl talking about? She's so annoying. Clearly, she has life so much better. Because that would be really, I hope somebody relates to this or at least can see my point of view. So yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.